Savior. His name is Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Bahasham, Bahava Kakwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. In who I reverence and honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And I'll say that as well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe. And to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. And I want to say, Tawadi Yahawa. Tawadi Yahawa by Sham Yahawa Shai. Tawadi Yahawa. Tawadi Yahawa by Sham Yahawa Shai. For allow me to minister to the hopeful elect in these last days in the hopes of being saved. Without further ado, we go flow with the spirit. And until the next time, right? <laughs> until the next time. Hey, shadow one, let's start. Come on. This is Proverbs 15. Actually, you know what? Let's start on 16. The preparations of the heart of man. And the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. So all our preparations, all our thoughts, is basically by Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai. And it says, wait until this noise, you know what? Wait until this noise stops. Wait until this noise stops. Right? And it says, all the ways of man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord, Yahweh Shai, wait. So a man's ways, it could be clean according to his own way, but the Lord weighs everyone's spirit. Right? So lucky about the noise, you've got the children going into the cinema. Right? Remember they want me, remember they want me to use my gifts for evil, but I can't use my gifts for evil. I've got to use my gifts to feed you how it's shy. Right? <laughs> and it says, Baba Kesha, all the ways a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord Java Shai. Wave the spirits. So it's Yahweh Shai that's weighing out all these spirits, all of us, our thoughts, our intent, and so forth. Commit thy works unto the Lord Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, and thy thoughts shall be established. So we got to commit our thoughts, our minds, to Yahweh Shai. Then our thoughts will be what? Established. Right, keep it down. <laughs> and it says, the Lord child shall make all things for himself, yeah, even the wicked, for the day of evil. So the Lord child shall, he's in control of everything. But he said, he has made the evil as well. So the Lord child shall is in control of both sides. He controls evil and the Lord controls good as well. That's about it now. The Lord controls both sides. He controls evil and he controls good. Both sides of the spectrum. Okay? Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. So we want to be humble. Okay? Go hands join in hand. Right, that's spiritual. Go hand join in hand. The wicked shall not go unpunished. So though the hand are joining hand in hand, right? The wicked will still not go unpunished. So that means the wicked are still going to be punished. Whether you want to hold hands and sing, we are the world. Okay? And it says, Baba Kisha, by mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. So we also want to teach mercy and truth as well. Right? Both of those things. That's how iniquity is purged. Okay? And it says, I'm moving too fast. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. So by the fear of Yahweh, by Sham Yahweh Shai, that's how we depart from evil. You have to fear Yahweh Shai. You're not supposed to fear man, you're supposed to fear Yahweh Shai. Not what man think, not what woman think, you're supposed to fear Yahweh Shai. Because that's who's going to judge us. Okay, so lucky about that noise. And you know what? I switched it off before because I thought, you know what, that's enough noise. But you're going to get that. Remember, Satan, right? Satan wants to control us, but he's not in control, right? 
if your destiny was to be a prophet, a man of the Lord, that's who you were going to be. Right? If your destiny was to be a child trafficker, well, you were going to be a child trafficker and get your ass destroyed. But the prophets, <laughs> but the prophets, their destiny, right, was to teach this truth. And this truth only. That's the prophet's destiny, man. Our destiny wasn't to do anything else. You heard it? Ah, ah. You're looking good. <laughs> so you know what? That's our destiny, right? To teach this word and to prophesy, right? And to the lost tribes of Israel in hope that they would be saved. Men, women, oh yeah, and children, that they may wake up and come to the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahabashai. And he says, basically, look, what's going on? They try to recruit me. But, that's, look, those that are on the right hand side, we can't be recruited to darkness. Okay? And it says, when a man's ways please the Lord, so our ways are pleasing Yahweh by Shem Yahabashai. He calls of even his enemies to be at peace with him. Right? So when our ways are pleasing to Yahweh Shai, even our enemies, right, are at peace with us. And that's a beautiful thing. That's why you want to do what's right. And when you're doing what's right, your enemies are at peace with you. Okay? Woo! Come on now. And it's a, see, Satan tries to do that. Satan tries to, um, Satan tries to give you a, a false image, right? But you can't do that. That's called witchcraft, man. That ain't fair. Okay? Stop doing that. Okay? Well, you know, it's a bit of... Now, you know, it ain't fun to me. It's fun to them, but it ain't fun to me. Because if your destiny was to be a prophet, that's who you were going to be. You weren't going to be anything else. It's like you've got people trying to write your script. No, the script's already been written. Okay? Come on now. Check this out. But Satan's just doing his job. Right? And it says... Where was I? When a man's ways please the Lord, he made even his enemies to be at peace with him. So we've got enemies. But our enemies are now trying to recruit us to be on the left-hand side. So this is how powerful we are. Can you imagine that? You're on the side of light, but your enemies are trying to recruit you to the left-hand side. So that means I always say you're of worth because they see your talents, they see your gifts. But guess what? They want you to go over to the left-hand side. But once you do that, that means you didn't endure. That means you didn't keep the faith. Once you do that, once you cross over to the other side, that means you never kept the faith. You never, you never stayed firm. We have to stay firm in this truth, right? And do not be compromised. Do not compromise your morals and your integrity just for a deal. See, that's a, what's presented before me, that's a deal. That's basically them saying, look, you join us, right? And you be looked after. But you don't need to do that because the Lord can still bless you and you're still teaching this truth. Excuse me. Guess what? The Lord's blessing me every day and I don't need to sell out. And I don't have a handler. Right? Remember, this society is heavily orchestrated. Even before I got here, there were certain things that happened. The traffic, right? The police, a lot of things. Society is organised. Bear me just a minute. Incense keeps going out. Right? Come on now. It's just, it's amazing that people literally want to control your destiny, man. Like, it's crazy. Crazy out here. If the Lord Jehovah says, look, this, this man's going to be a prophet, well, that's who he's going to be. He ain't going to be nothing else. Okay. Simple as that. You cannot rewrite the script. The script's already been written. You cannot rewrite it. No matter how much occultism or witchcraft or manipulation that you saw or demons you sum up, you cannot change the outcome because Yahweh Shai is in control. And once you realize that, that should bring you great, 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 great fear. Great fear knowing this. Okay. So if we just flow with this bit, I ain't got nothing written down. Um, better a little with righteousness than great revenues with, without um, with, without right. So better is little with righteousness. So you may not have a lot of things right, but you have a righteous spirit. Okay. 
run great revenues without rights. So you can have someone that has great revenue, right? Great money, but they're wicked. So it doesn't really mean anything. You see what I mean? You okay? And it says, a man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. So we also got to pray that our steps are directed in the right manner, in the right way. You know, prayer is, is essential, especially in these times. Okay? And it says, a divine sentence is in the lips of the king and the mouth transgresseth not in judgment. So we want our words to be divine, divinely inspired. Right? If, if I'm missing anything, Yahawashai, please let me know. You have to pray. You have to ask. If there's anything we're not paying attention to. Okay? And it says, a just weight and balance of the Lord. And it says, all the weights of the band are his work. All the weights. Okay? Oh God, we got a sex kitten right here. Maybe just a minute. Let me wait. Well, that's, what, that's the whole traffic in programming. I didn't want you to get involved in that, right? Dressed up as a sex doll. Come on, people are getting exploited. You understand? People are getting exploited. Left, right, and centre. You just need eyes to see that. That people are being exploited, right? <laughs> there are people who want to nod their head at me, but they, they, they're practicing witchcraft and sorcery within their churches. Hypocrisy, right? But your churches, they're shutting down. Right? The churches are shutting down your prosperity preachers. Because all they're teaching is lies. All they're teaching is deceit. Right? You ain't going to get the truth in your churches. They may teach you certain things, but it's not all the truth. They're teaching you bits and bobs of the truth and leaving out other things. Right? That's all they're doing. And they're casting spells on their congregation, which is not good. Right? Yahabashai is that true shepherd. Go to Job. Or straight to John. And you've got people trying to harvest your energy as well. That's why I don't really like teaching here. Right? In this particular spot, there's too much demons. Too much. Right? You've got people trying to harvest your energy. Let's go to John. Go to John 10. Okay? Yeah, all right, people are being exploited big time. Right? Being, they're being exploited like a hole. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, woman, they're being exploited like a hole. Now, when you have this truth, people can't exploit you. That's what they want to do. They see you have a gift and they want to exploit you for your gift. But that can't happen to the elect. The elect are not going to let that happen. Right? Now, if you want to be used and abused, well, that's on you, but that, that's what's going to happen to the elect. Okay? Bear me just a minute. Incense keeps going out. Right? We need to stay firm in our belief. And as long as you do that, you're good. Right? Do not be swayed by demons. What what demons want for you. Okay? Bear me just a minute. This is John 10, right? And jump straight to verse. Where was I? Right? And they want to come around you as well. <laughs> Yeah, bro, it's all about energy as well, right? But that's why you have to stay focused. This is John 10. And go straight to verse 22. And it came, it was at Jerusalem at the feast of the dedication, it was winter. And Yehoshua walked in the temple of Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us to doubt? If thou be Mashiach, tell us plainly. So just tell us. Why are you making us doubt? Right? Yahushua answered them. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, plainly, I told you, and you believe not. And you can do your black magic, but none of that's working. You can summon, you can summon your energies. You can summon your dark energies, but none of that's working. By the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai. Right? You can do all that, but in the name of Yahushai, if you're practicing any black magic, May in the name of Yahusha, may that return right back upon your head. If anyone's doing it, just as a warning. Right? You've got to put that warning out there. Right? Because we're spiritual men. And that really, that's the worst thing you can do to a man of the Lord. Right? 
Okay, you got these two individuals, well, this one individual just standing on the other side. They think they can do that, right? Harvesting negative energy. Bro, none of that rubbish works, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Jum, Tem. This is why I don't like teaching in this particular part of trading. I call this Demon Central. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. Demon Central, because there's a lot of demons out here, right? And these same people go to church as well, saying, Lord, hear my cry. But they're hypocrites, right? They don't do anything the Bible says. They're hypocrites, right? Working dark arts. How are you going to be a, a Christian, but you're working dark arts? Hypocrisy, right? And it says, Baba Kusha, check this out. When came the Jews round right about and said, why does our maker sit doubt? I told you, and you believe not, the works that I do in my father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe me not, because you are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice. So Yahawashai's sheep, they're going to hear his voice. Right? And I know them. So Yahawashai, his sheep hear his voice. And he knows them. Right? And they follow me. So the Lord's sheep are going to follow him. Okay? And I give them eternal life. So if you're of the, excuse me, if you're of the Lord's sheep, you've been given that eternal life. Okay? Eternal salvation. And it says, and they follow me. So wherever Yahushua's words is, these men are going to be there also. And I give them eternal, eternal life. Everlasting life. And they shall never perish. Right? The elect were never going to perish. Right? Eternal life. And they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. To the elect, they will be plucked out of large Yahushua's hand. Okay? They'll be kept. Okay? My father which gave them me is greater than all. Right? And you got the handle, you got the handle like that walks past as well. It's all orchestrated. All this is fake. Right? And it says. And neither, no man shall pluck them out of my hand. So no man was going to be able to pluck the elect out of Yahawashai's hand. They were going to be in his hand. Right? None of them were going to fall out of the tree. None of them were going to be under demonic possession. Right? And it says, My father that gave them is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my hand. My father's hand, because they were given to Yahweh Shai by who? The Heavenly Father. Right? I've already told you, I got the bro, I got the Disneyland crew. <laughs> I told you I got the Disneyland crew following me about. Right? I don't want to be a nonce. Bear me just a minute. My father which gave them me is greater than all. I and my father are one. We're going to cut the Jews stones against a stone. And it says, Many good works have I done from my father, from which works do you stone me? So again, they couldn't even receive the word. He said, many good works have I done. Which one of these works are you stoning me for? So Yahavashah was doing nothing but good, but you just had evil people, right? Around him. Even when Yahavashah was doing the miracles, you had those that wanted to follow him around. They had spirits upon them, right? And we're gonna have to get in the times of prayer, not just prayer, Cursing as well. We're going to have to put curses upon those that have bad intentions, evil intentions. We're going to have to put curses upon those that have wicked energy, right? And that are trying to surround you with that wicked. We're going to have to do that. We're going to have to get into what? Warfare scriptures. Let's go into it. I'm all over the place right now, but let's go into it. Let's go to Mark. Right? Yeah, that's some unclean spirits. You know when people cough like that? That's some unclean spirits. Right? Which mentions in Revelation. London is an unclean city, by the way. Very unclean. Okay? And that's why a lot of people cough. Right? Bear me just a minute, Baba Kisha. I want to stay on ball right here. Right? Come on now. Hey, we're winning. We're not losing, we're winning. It's just that you've got people out here, they, they want to shake. 
your destiny. That's what you got. That means you're a witch. That means you're a warlock. You know, you're trying to shape someone's destiny. That means you're a warlock. That means you're an unclean spirit. Right? And you know what? Them unclean spirits, in the name of Yahweh Shai, they need to get cast out by the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Sham Yahweh Shai. Right? We don't want to be a part of your cults, man. Okay? Let's go to Revelations, Baba Kisha. See if we can find Yeah, there's a lot of unclean spirits in London. A lot. Alright? See if I can find it. Right. And that's how you know, that's how you know it's a demonic spirit. Because any spirit that's trying to control you, that's a demonic spirit. That's the spirit of Jezebel. Hold on just a minute. <clears throat> right? You people are so fucking stupid. Right? Hold on. Yeah, that's that spirit of Jezebel. But Jezebel's losing. And you know what? Let's go into that. I want to go into a scripture on Jezebel. And what was Jezebel known for? Jezebel was known for trying to slay the lost prophets. We're going to get into it. That's what I'm, that's what I'm battling against. So let's go, hold on just a minute. You know it. When people are trying to control your life, that's a Jezebel spirit. Right? That is a Jezebel, it's a demonic spirit. So let's go into this Baba Kisha, see if we can find it. Right? Go to 1 Kings, right? And jump straight to verse... Right, go to verse 21. It says, and it came to pass, right? Yes, yeah, Satan has to get out of there now. And it came to pass after these things that Naboth, the Jezreelites, had a vineyard. So we're going to go into the traits of Jezebel, which was in Jezreel. Half by the palace of a half king of Samaria, and a half Spain, unto Neville, right? Saying, give me the vineyard. So, he wanted this particular vineyard for himself. In other words, he was covetous. But I may have it for a garden of herbs. Because it is near unto my house, I will give thee for a better vineyard. That it, or seem good to thee. Or I will give the worth of it for money. So he offered money for this particular vineyard. And he says, and the boss said, to a heart, the Lord forbid it me that I should give the inheritance of my fathers unto thee. So no, I'm not going to give you my inheritance of my fathers unto you. And a heart came into his house, heavy and displeased because of the words which Naboth the Jezreelite had spoken unto him. For he had said, I will not give thee the inheritance of my fathers. And he laid him on, down upon his bed and turned away his face and would eat no bread. So, he didn't want to eat, I hardly didn't want to eat any food because of his distress. Just because Naboth said, no, you're not getting my vineyard, right? And we're going to get into it, how this Jeze Jezebel spirit operates, right? We're going to well, shut down that spirit. This is spiritual warfare. And it says, but Jezebel, his wife, if you know about Jezebel, yeah, Jezebel was a queen. A wicked queen, a high level witch, right, that had prophets underneath her. That's who Jezebel represents. Okay? And it says, Baba Kisha, there's a lot of sex kittens out here, and Jezebel represents whoredom as well. That's what Jezebel represented, whoredom, right? Lust, right? But Jezebel's wife came unto him and said unto him, Why is that spirit so sad? But it eats us no bread. Okay, and said unto her, because I spoke unto Naboth, the Jezreelite, and said unto him, give me that vineyard for the money or else, right? If it please thee, I will give thee an other vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give thee my vineyard. 
when Jezebel his wife said to him, this is where we come, this is where you have to be careful. Right? Does not the government of Israel, kingdom of Israel, arise and eat bread? Right? Arise and eat bread. Really, Ahab, he should have been over Jezebel, but he never had no restraint over this spirit. And this Jezebel spirit operates through manipulation, right? Through control and through lust. That's how it operates. And let thy heart be merry. I will give thee the vinyl of Naboth Jezreel. So this Jezebel spirit, it was intervening. It's, a, it's like a brown noser intervening spirit. So the, wrote the letters in Ahab's name. And sealed them with his seal, and sent the letters unto the elders and to the nobles. So she was writing letters for Ahab to get Naboth killed. Wicked woman, right? Dwelling with Naboth. And the highest, I want to say as well, the highest um, spirit within principalities is the Jezebel spirit. Because the Jezebel spirit seeks domination, control, and it seeks to suppress. And it seeks to suppress leaders as well. You have to understand how this spirit operates. And when you see it's operating, what can you do? Use the scriptures, cast it down. Right? And she wrote in letters saying, proclaim a fast and set Naboth on high. In other words, set him up. And bro, this ain't just associated with women. From what I've seen, it ain't just women that have that Jezebel spirit. It's a lot of men. A lot of men have Jezebel spirits as well. Because remember, it operates on the space of trying to control, right? Leaders, that's how it operates. And set them up on high among the people. Set two men, sons of Belial. In other words, sons of Belial are demon worshippers. In other words, Satanists before him. To bear witness against him. And the scripture says you're not supposed to do that. Saying that did blaspheme God and the king and then carry him out and stone him that he may die. So it's written, Jezebel, written that down to do that. Okay? And the men of his city, right? Even the elders and the nobles were the inhabitants in his city did as Jezebel had said unto them. As it was written in the letters which he had said unto them. When they proclaimed the fast and sent Nabafon a high among the people, they came with two men, children of Belial, and sat before him. And men of Belial witnessed against him, even against Naboth. Right? And it says, in the presence of the people, saying, Naboth did blaspheme the Heavenly Father and the King. And they carried him out forth at the city and stoned him with stones, and that he died. Okay? When they sent to Jezebel saying, Naboth is stoned in his dead. You see how dangerous this spirit can be? Bro, if you see, you need to survey that instantly, immediately. Because if it, if it ain't dealt with, it can get worse. Because that's how the Jezebel spirit operates. It operates by trickery, domination, right? Confusion, right? That's why a lot of churches, right? You may have a pastor, right? And the church gets broken down because the Jezebel spirit infiltrated that church, right? And yet it is a principality that's operating in a lot of men, right? And it says, take possession of the vineyards, right? So this spirit is a spirit of covetous and possession. And remember, it wants to dominate strong leaders. That's how the Jezebel spirit operates. Domination, strong leaders, right? And it says, and it came to pass when Ahab heard that Naboth was dead. Ahab arose to go down to the vine of Naboth Jezreelite to take the prison. That's wicked. So this is how the spirit operates. Okay. And now, Baba Kisho, I want to go to, hold on just a minute. 17. Check this out. Check this out. And the word of the Lord, Jehovah Shai, came to Elijah the Tishbite. So Elijah, he was known for what? His strength and his holy anointing. He had that heavy anointing upon his life. So Elijah, he's going to step in now. Okay. Arise. Go. Down to meet Ahab. Okay. King of Israel, which is in Samaria. 
Okay. Behold, he's in the very vineyard of the buff where he's going down to possess it. So Elijah had word of this. And it says, And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thou saith the Lord that has killed and also taken possession. And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus saith the Lord in the place. Right? Where the dogs lick the blood of Naboth, the dog shall lick the blood, even of thine. Right? And Ahab said unto Elijah, Hast thou found me on my enemy? So Elijah, heavy, heavy, heavy anointed. And it says, and he answered, I have found you because thou hast sold thyself to work evil in the sight of the Lord. And a lot of people sell themselves to work a lot of evil in the sight of the Lord. They joke, they join cult members. I and mean, within the scriptures, you had the children of Belial, who worship what? Prince of demons. That's what Belial means. Those that worship demons and principalities. And they were known for what? Excessive lust. And they were worshippers of Jezebel. Yes. They were idolatrous. They worshipped the golden calf. So a lot of the people you see, the cult members, they worship the golden calf. They're idolatrous, which ties back to modern day terms, new age, okay? We're bringing it out, right, into the open, okay? And it says, Baba Kisha, check this out. Behold, I will bring evil upon thee, and I will take away the posterity, and I will cut off from Ahab all those that piss against the wall, and him that shut up him that is left in Israel. And I will make thine house like the house of Jeroboam and the son of Nebat and like the house of Basa and the son of Ahijah, right? For the provocation wherewith thou hast provoked me to anger, right? And make Israel to sin. And of Jezebel also spake the Lord, Yahweh saying, the dog shall eat up Jezebel, right? So she had a horrible death, right? By the wood of Jezreel, him that dieth for Baham, in the city of the dogs, shall eat, and him that dieth for the food shall the past of it and eat. But there shall not be left of Ahab, which did sell himself to work wickedness in the sight of the Lord, whom Jezreel, his wife, stirred up. So he was stirred up by his woman. You don't take advice from the. Now, there's certain. Right, was there wise women within the scriptures? Yes. But you don't really go to a woman for advice and instruction. Because she was not, nine times out of ten, she give you the wrong instruction. Right? I'm telling you, a lot of these women are wicked, not us. Wicked. Okay. And it says, And it came to pass when the heart heard those words that he rent his clothes and put sackcloth, right, upon his flesh and fasted and laid in sackcloth and went softly. And the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite saying, see how that Ahab himself humbleth himself. So guess what? Ahab was sorry for this sin. Ahab was really, really, really sorry for it. Right? So he repented. Okay? And it says, I will not bring evil in his days. So that's heavy. The Lord can have it where he doesn't bring evil in your lifetime if you repent. That's why repentance is so heavy. Okay, but his son stay when I bring these evils upon his house. Okay, so he was going to bring it when his sons would um, come. That's when he was going to bring that evil. So we went to that Baba Kishar, Baba Kishar. See what else we got. So we went to that. Now we're going to go to Proverbs. Flow with the Spirit. We have to bring out these scriptures. This is what you call applying. Right? The Jezebel spirit operates trickery, seduction, right? Good words, temptation. That's how this spirit operates. Right? Because how can you how can you fight a spirit that you don't know that's attacking you? You've got to fight it in the spirit. You've got to cast it down. Bear me just in a minute. Go to Proverbs now. We got Proverbs 6. Right? Come on now. We got Proverbs 6 and we got Proverbs 4. Right? Go to Proverbs 4. Right? And what else? What else? What else? Go to Proverbs 2. Proverbs 2 and 10. When wisdom enters within. Right? When wisdom enters within thy heart. And knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. Discretion shall preserve thee. So it's going to be discretion that preserves us in this time. Being discreet. 
right? Discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. So it's going to be understanding as well that's going to keep us in the way of Yahweh Shai. Right? To deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh. Throwing, throwing things, corrupt things. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, and Baba Kisha, who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. Okay? So you got a people that leave the paths and they walk in the ways of all forms of darkness, witchcraft, sorcery. And it says, who rejoice to do evil, right? And delight in the frowardness of the wicked. So we're not supposed to be delighting in the frowardness of the wicked. We're not supposed to be delighting in New Ageism, which I mention a lot, very similar. So New Age, right? New Age is wickedness, right? The New Age doctrine is wicked because the New Age doctrine is Satanism. That's what it is, right? It's Satanism with a little twist, right? That's what New Age is. New Age is Satanism with a little twist, right? We can't sugarcoat it. That's what it is, okay? And it says, Baba Kusha, check this out. Rejo that rejoice to do evil. So these people, they're rejoicing. These people are rejoicing to do evil. We're not supposed to be rejoicing to do evil. We're supposed to be rejoicing to do the right thing. That rejoice to do evil. Okay. Baba Kisha. And delight in the frowardness of the wicked. So these people delight in doing frowardness things. They delight in doing wicked things. Most ways are crooked. So they're very crooked in their ways. Very frowing in their past. To deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger. Which flutter with, with her words. Okay? And it says, Baba Kisha, which forsake the life of her youth. So Jezebel, she's also known for flattery as well. Which forsake of the guide of her youth. And it says, and for sake of the covenant of her father. So we're not to forsake the covenant of the father. And it says, Baba Kisha, for her house inclining unto the dead. Oh, you don't want to follow her. You don't want to follow Jezebel. It says her house inclineth unto the dead. Right? She's, she, she's cast down many strong men. Okay? And it says, Baba Kisha, where was I? What on verse... 19 For none that go unto her return again neither take hold of the paths of life None that go unto her Yeah, bro, she's looking for strong followers to cast down Right? Yeah, it's a it's a it's a woman's spirit But this spirit also operates in men as well It's not just likened unto women men also have the Jezebel spirit as well Right because it's based on manipulation and control. That's what it's based upon. And it says that thou mayest wait, walk in the way of good men and keep the paths of righteousness. Aha, he didn't walk in the ways of good men. Even though he did repent. Right? But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth and transgression shall be rooted out. So bear me just a minute. Now, let's go to Timothy's. Right? These are all warnings. You gotta be careful what you're letting into your mind as well. What type of things you're letting into your mind and into your psyche, okay? Go to Timothy's now. See if we can find it. Come on. So this is Titus, actually Timothy's, Baba Kishan. And four, it says, now the Spirit speaketh expressly that some shall depart from the faith. So it's warning us within this truth yeah, we were going to have some that would depart, right? This is a very, this is essential. This is what we have to know, right? Some would depart, right? In other words, they would lose faith, right? you got to be careful what you're watching, right? you got to be careful what you're watching, right? What you're letting into your psyche, because there's a lot of demonic spirits out here, right? A lot, okay? And we need to stay, what, burning. Don't be getting involved in New Age, Buddhism, 
Sikhism, Hinduism, right? Christianity, Islam. These are all the ways of the enemy. See, there's many ways to be ignorant. And that's one of the ways. And that's what they call New Age today. All those different philosophies, right? Which is a melting pot of witchcraft. The scriptures seek out of the book of the Lord. Not shall want her mate. That's what we're supposed to be seeking out of. The Bible. Not the Kiba and Nigas, not the 48 laws of Ma'at, right? We're not supposed to be doing that, okay? We're not supposed to be seeking out of the law of attraction. We're not supposed to be seeking out of those books because it's the way of error. It's not the way of life. It's the way of error, okay? So it says, some shall depart from the faith. See, we're gonna have those that depart in these last days. Because they were not mentally strong, I'm telling you. Them seducing spirits are very, very, if you're not, it doesn't matter how strong you are in the faith, them spirits are strong. They're alluring spirits. They're, they're alluring, they're tempting. In other words, it sounds good. And it will sound good because Satan, he presents something to you as good, as nice, as alluring. Okay? Some try to depart from the faith. So it's going to happen. You're going to have more people departing from this faith. Okay? Giving heed to seducing spirits. So it says giving heed. Listen to what? Seducing spirits. And guess what seducing spirits are? Seducing spirits, it says evil spirits in a new translation. So you're going to have people that were listening to these evil spirits talking to them and accepting it as the truth. That's why you need to know what you're listening to and you need to be guarded spiritually. If it's not in the scriptures, it's nonsense. Right? Filter everything you're watching, you have to filter that through the scriptures. ASAP. And doctrines of devils. So they were going to be coming up with doctrines of devils. You know when you think of, what's her name? When you think of Helena Filovatsky, that she was teaching doctrines of devils. Yeah, when you go into New Ageism, it's doctrines of devils. So there's doctrines, right, that are not of Yahweh Shai. There's doctrines that are being taught before you that are not of Yahweh Shai, right? That's why they're known as doctrines of devils, right? Oh, you could raise your track, you could, I've heard it many times. Oh, you could just raise your chakra. You could raise your chakra, raise your vibrations. That's a doctrine of devils, right? It's called a false light. It's false light. Because Satan can come to you with that as well. Oh, raise your vibration, you know? All that. Bro, that's all Satanism, right? All Satanism, right? That's presented to you as truth. But it's forces, right? And guess what? A lot of people that practice New Ageism, Guess what happens? They end up what turning sick or mentally ill. A lot of people that that do these new age practices, they end up turning ill, mentally ill, right? Because it doesn't it doesn't work out for them, right? I've never seen it work out for them. And new age is another form of saying the occult. That's what it's the occult, and we know the occult have connections with everyone around here, right? The occult ties into masonry. Masonry ties into what? Satanism. So it's all, that's what it is. It's the occult, right? And they call it what? Hidden, hidden, hidden knowledge. But hold on, you're supposed to be using knowledge for, um, for righteousness. You're not supposed to be using knowledge for wickedness. You use your knowledge to better you and people around you. So that's what it is, it's esoteric knowledge. Now, is there certain things that, yeah, they know certain things, but they use it to manipulate the masses, right? They use it to manipulate the masses, right? Have you ever seen the sundial, the circle, right? Have you ever seen the patterns within the occult? There's patterns, right? Right, they have this pattern, they have this, that hand sign, they have this, right? But they're probably gonna edit that, right? They have the different hand signs, which is forms of the occult, okay? And it says Baba Kasha, 
and doctrine. So that's why you got to be careful what you're opening yourself up to. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, right. not, um, you know what? Not too bad. You want a bottle of water? So I'm coming back. Oh yes, please. Back, fight back. Twenty minutes, I mean. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't think I'll be here twenty minutes. But thank you anyway, oh, sir. Right. You know what? Fun. I'm gonna bless you. What's your name? Martin. Martin. Uh, I want to bless you for that. Thank I want to bless you for that. Thanks. The, the lad just offered me a bottle of water. May Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai Barak 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 Martin. Bless Martin. Bless Martin in the name of Yahweh Shai. See? Not everybody's against you. Right? May the Lord bless him. He just asked me if I want a bottle of water when I'm passing by. Your perception is everything. Right? Your perception is everything. Your perception of life is everything. That's why, again, it's occultism. And in New Ages, there's a certain way they... I want to say this, the New Ages, right? There's a certain way they dress as well. I don't know what it is. It's a certain way they dress. You can, you can tell a New Ager from a mile away. Okay? Come on now. So, please, if you're watching the New Age videos, please stop watching them. Because you may just open up yourself avenues to demonic attacks. It's evil spirits. How do you get it? Right? In a new age. Right? Hello there. Right? New age doctrine is Satanism. It's just cloaked as something nice. Yeah, you've got to raise your vibration. Then you wonder why you're being stalked by demons. Well, that's going to happen. But you wonder why it's such on a heavy level. Because you may have just what? Well, are you sure you wasn't watching a video of a tarot card reader? Are you sure you wasn't, you know, lighting candles? You gotta be careful, you gotta protect yourself. Ca candle work, tarot cards, um, Luigi boards, Obia boards, right? These things open up demonic doorways to the enemy. Right? These things open up demonic doorways to the enemy. And once you do that, it's going to be hard, harder to, to close the doors, right? And I just want to give you some tips as well. Bear me just a minute. Hold on there. I'm not finished with Timothy's. All these things, right? Something, I don't know if I'll find it. But it says you should have not, no accursed thing in your house as well. Cer certain times, there may be certain things you have around your household that are inviting spirits that are inviting spirits so there's certain things that invite spirits into your household right that's why you got to be you got to be circumspect right see if i can find it baba kasha you may have certain things in your possession that's what attracting demons right you never know okay See if I can find it. Go to Leviticus. Yeah, you have to get certain things you may have to get rid of. Okay. Um, see if I can find it. Bear me just a minute. Um, I've got something. Right? This is Deuteronomy. And we're gonna go back to Timothy's. Deuteronomy. Six. And 14, you shall not go after the gods of the gods of the people round about you. So, you know when we were coming to the land of Canaan, we were warned, don't go after the gods which are known as idols, after the other nations. Because they were going to drive you away from your power. That's why. Okay. And it says, Baba Kisha, hold on just a minute. And for the Lord, your power is a jealous power. I know he's a bro, he's jealous. When you go into Islam, all that, the Lord jealous, right? See, she looks like another new age. Bro, they dress like new agents. They have a certain trendy look, right? Okay, are you a new ager? Let me just a minute. And it says Baba Kasha. Uh-uh. And it says Baba Kasha. Bless the Lord and the anger of the Lord, right? Be kindled against you and destroy them. Okay. From the face of the earth. You shall not tempt the Lord, Yahweh, where Yahweh shy, your power, as you tempted him in Massa. We shall not tempt our power, as we tempted him in Massa. Right? So by you serving idols, you're tempting the Lord. Okay? And it says, you shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord, your power, and his testimony and his statutes, which he commanded. Right? 
Hey, so we went to that. I'm looking for something else as well. And check this out. This is Deuteronomy 4 and 14. And the Lord commanded me at this time to teach the statutes, right? And judgments that you might do them. In the land where our goal is to possess it. Take therefore good heed unto yourselves, for you saw no manner of similitude. The scripture says you saw no manner of similitude. Why? Because that similitude, they would have bowed down to it. Right? It's still useless. You've got these freaks walking about. Right? And it says, make no similitude. So we're not supposed to be the of a fish, of a cow, and worship it. We're not supposed to be worshipping no fish. No cows, no donkeys, no owls. We're not supposed to be worshipping any animals. Right? That's digressive. And it says, unless you corrupt yourselves, right? And make your graven image. So that's how we became corrupted. By graven images. Right? And graven images is something that you, you grave out. So that's how you corrupt yourself as well by graven images okay and it says make no similitude of any figure of the likeness of male or female so it says you make no likeness whether it be male or whether it be female none right and that's what people have done they sought out their own inventions okay and it says likeness of any beast that is on the earth right and it says, the light of any winged fowl that flyeth in the air. So you're not supposed to like worship any birds. This is what people have done. Egyptian culture, you have falcon heads that people are worshipping. You have bird heads. That's digressive. That's backwards. Right? All these things. And it says, Baba Kisha, and the light of anything that creeps on the ground, the light of any fish that's in the waters beneath the earth, which goes back to Dagon. In the time of um, Samson, you had what? The fish god, which was known as Dagon, right? Yeah, it's still worshipped today within the Christian churches. That's why your priests, right? Your pope, they have like a fish hat on, right? Which goes back to Dagon, right? That's, that's animal worship, that's idolatry. Okay, that's idolatry. Okay, and it says, Baba Kisha, unless thou lift up thy eyes into heaven and when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, your new ages, here we go now, your new ages, right? Your new ages, they worship the moon, the stars, and constellations. How do I know? Because I notice, you look at a lot of new ages, they have tattoos of stars, moon, right, and so forth, right? Now I've got a tattoo of a crescent moon on me, but that was in ignorance. I've repented of that. But that's how you can know as well these signs, right? Of who's part of the new age, the new age group, right? And it says, Baba Kisha, check this out. And it says, that should, and let's that be what? Not the host of heaven. So we're not supposed to be worshipping the host of heaven as well. Shouldest thou be driven to worship them and serve them? So we're not supposed to worship them nor serve them. Right? Which the Lord our power have divided unto all nations under the whole of heaven. But the Lord have taken you and brought you out of the iron furnace, even out of Egypt. And we were brought out of Egypt as a lesson of what not what to do and what to do. To be unto him a people of an inheritance. So we were brought out of Egypt as a lesson of what not to do and what not to do. Shalom, right? And what not to do. So that was an example, right? Of how, what not to do. Because when we were going through Egypt, you could bet there was a lot of idols when we were going through it. See, that was a test. So now we went to that, Baba Kisha. See what else we can get, right? 24, for the Lord that power is a consuming fire and in a jealous power. He's a very consuming fire. Uh, thank you. You know, I didn't think you'd come back so quick. No, I'll keep my word. Yeah, hey, thank you for that. Thank hey, Lord you. bless you. Thank you, sir. Right? See, 
See, I got some more presents. Early Christmas presents. I got some more. Zero sugar, Fanta with mango. I like mango as well. So, hey, this is a blessing, right? See, the scripture says, when a man's ways are pleasing to the Lord, you shall even cause of his enemies to be at peace with him, right? You know how much amount of gifts? And I always say, Croydon is not necessarily a bad place. It's the people within. It's the people that make up a town. You know how many, many gifts I've been since I was here? I'm talking about in Croydon. People are giving me about five gifts. So that's a blessing. May the Lord bless Martin, man, and his whole household as well. The Lord can deliver that individual just for that. Right? I like, I like mango as well. It's spiritual. Right? So, hey, this is beautiful, man. And this really motivates me to continue to push on. It really does. Right? It really does motivate me to push on. Come on now. Right? Not, you've got to understand, not everybody's going to receive us. Not everyone. Right? You're going to have a remnant that will receive you. That's beautiful. That's a good, that's a very good gesture. Right? When someone buys you a drink or whatever, catch whatever, that's a very, very good gesture. And that is an act of faith. Right? You're doing that. And you're not doing it to get anything back. That's the type, that's the type of individual that Yahweh Shai is dealing with. Okay? So now we went to that, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Check this out. Right? Oh, that's that's really that's that's made my day. It's little things that it's the little things that mean the most. It's the little things, right? That, it doesn't have to no, it doesn't have to be a hundred pound. It's the little things that mean the most. Okay. So we went to that. Now I want to go back to Timothy's. Then we're gonna get out of here. See, <laughs> right? Because there's only so much I can give. I need to, you know, I need to work on myself as well. Let's go to Timothy's. And back when we were. So there have been many people given heed to seducing spirits. Right? Many people. Right? Given heed to seducing spirits. Right? But well, in that time. Right? And it says. And doctrines of devils. So there's also doctrines of devils as well. We already went into that. New age. I wanted to, I want to do more lessons on the new age because we need to ban it out. And I told you I was watching some videos, but I didn't quite realize they were New Age, right? And New Age, it doesn't have any, um, anyone could be involved in it, any nationality, right? Because it's a melting pot of different philosophies, okay? And it says, and doctrines of devils, right? So they're teaching also doctrines of, that's what they teach. What is, what is the New Age, what do they teach? They teach, in, they teach so-called enlightenment. Oh, in so-called enlightenment, you can raise your vibration, you could be a millionaire in two days, right? You know? Yeah, they talk about negative energy, positive energy, but, but it's, in a, it's in a particular way they're doing it. It's in a false way. It's falsehoods, they're deceiving you, right? That's what they're doing, they're deceiving you, right? <laughs> And it's just, you're still useless. And it says, Baba Kishya. And, check this out. Right? Forbidding to marry, so that I can speak in lies and hypocrisy. Having a conscious said from a hot iron song. That's what the New Age doctor, they speak lies in hypocrisy. Having a conscious said, nothing can get in, nothing can get out. So it's lies. What they're doing is based upon lies. It's not, it's not based upon truth. Right? Stay away from them teachings. And a lot of them teachings come from um a lot of them teachings, when you trace it back, them teachings go back to the te theof theosophical the Theosophical Institute, which was by um I forgot who it was formed by, but we know Alistair Crowley was a part of that and Helen Lavats. And when you find out what it is, it's actually Satanism, Satanism, right? And so forth. So that's what it is, right? It's nothing that can bring you salvation. It's nothing that's going to bring you salvation. And when you go into that, you accidentally open up these doorways that are not good. So you can repent from that, right? You can repent from these things and ask for forgiveness. And pray to your house and say, you know what? I'm going to your house I opened up some doors. Please, would you shut them doors? But you, you have to keep them doors shut. You have to keep them doors shut. New Age, it's a, it's a trick. 
it's a melting pot of philosophies. Okay? I.e. Satanism. I.e. occult. Now you wonder why you're being attacked by occultists. Because you opened up demonic doorways via New Age. That's why that's that's why that could be happening. Right? Or you have something around you that is attracting demons. Right? Okay? Because you could guess what? You could raise your vibration with the Holy Spirit. You don't need you don't need new age doctrine to raise your vibration. That's a lot of rubbish. You can do that with the scriptures. Okay? Or to raise your so-called chakra. Or what do you say they your your third eye? Right? So let's go, come on. And it says, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats. Forbidding to marry and abstain from meats. But according to the scriptures, you can eat meat. You can eat chicken, you can eat lamb, you can eat fish, right? Because it's, it's, it's lawful, according to the scriptures. So if anyone's telling you that, you know they're going off. Okay? To see what else we can find, Baba Kasha. <sighs> And I hope this is being edified, because that's what I'm out here to do. Isaiah, go to Isaiah as well. Go to Isaiah 44, all right? And nine. May that make of the graven image, right? Are all of them vanity? So the graven images, they're vain, okay? All of them are vanities, and they're delectable. Things shall not profit, so these items are not gonna profit you, okay? And they are their own witnesses, okay? They see not, they know not, right? They see they're trying to shut down the words, right? And it says that they may be ashamed. Who have formed the god an idol? Right? Or who a mountain and graven image that is profitable? For nothing. So your graven images, they're profitable for nothing. Your graven images are useless. Okay? Who have formed the god? An image, a mountain, a graven image. But it's profitable for nothing. Behold, all his fellows, right, shall be ashamed. And the workmen and they of the men, let them all be gathered together. Let them stand up, yeah, they shall fare. Let them be ashamed together. This is verse 12. The smith and the tongues. So they gather the smith and they gather the tongues, right? For what? The orders. Both worketh in the coals and fashion it with the hammers and worketh it with the strength of his arms. Yeah, he is hungry and his strength fed. He drinketh no water and is faint. Okay? The carpenter stretch out his robe. He marketh it out with a line. He fitteth it with the planes. He marketh it with a compass. And the compass, guess what? The compass is a Masonic symbol. Okay? And maketh it after the figure of a man, which is counterfeit idolatry, according to the beauty of a man. Okay? And it says, but um, let it remain in the house. So we went to that, Baba Kisha. And I want to go to Acts as well. All right. And what did Paul think about these idols when he came to, I think it was Athens, right? Let's go to Acts. Come on now. Woo! Come on. Let's go. I'm getting, I'm getting your, I like, bro, I like annoying, I like pissing off your occultists, I like it, right? I like, 
<laughs> Let's go to Acts. Come on. Let's go to Acts 17 and jump straight to 22. All right? And Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill. So Mars Hill would be the equivalent of probably 31st Street today. Okay? And said, ye men of Athens. Right? The men of Athens were Greeks, by the way. Israelites that were in the Greek state of mind. I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious. Our people, remember, they're very, very superstitious. Very. Right? They're into um, fables. Christmas, Halloween, um, Father Christmas coming under the tree. Um, fairy tales. Okay? And it says, Baba Kusha, check this out. And I passed by and beheld your devotions and I found an altar with an inscription to the unknown power. Wherefore you, you know what? I'm not moving too fast. I'm moving too fast. So lucky. Like Go to Acts 17 and jump straight to verse 13. But when the Jews of Thessalonica had knowledge of the word of the Heavenly Father, was preached of Paul at Berea, they came thither also and stirred up the people. Rather meanly, the brethren sent away Paul to go as it were to the sea. But Silas and Timotheus abode there still. And they, they that conducted Paul brought him unto Athens. Right? And it says, <laughs> and another thing, the elect were, were unrecruitable. Right? So you think, this is what you've got to understand. See, the occultists, they, they, what they do, they recruit. Right? They recruit. Right? It's those that are like Rev. And it says, and they conducted Paul and brought him. Right? Pardon? You tell him. Oh yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> and brought him unto Athens, receiving a commandment unto Silas, and to Tim Timotheus, for to come of him with all speed, and they departed. Right? So this is when they departed to their land. Right? Different regions. Now while Paul waited for them at Athens, his spirit was stirred in him. So, Apostle Paul, he was being stirred up. Right? Apostle Paul's spirit was being stirred up and it says in him when he saw the city Wally given to idolatry. So Paul was very agitated when he saw all the idolatry. Look at these buildings. I'm going to pan the camera. Babe, just a minute. Let me just pan the camera. Look at these buildings. This is a lot of idolatry, man. Just look how these buildings are formed. Right? You look at the structure of these buildings, a lot of masonry. You look at UK, how these buildings are um, built. There's a lot of masonry behind them, right? The Knights of Malta and all that. The Golden Dawn of Order, right? Okay. Woo! <laughs> looking very psychedelic. <laughs> You're looking very psychedelic, right? Maybe just a minute, right? Yeah, it's a nice dress, but, well, very colourful. <laughs> Just a minute. Nice figure as well. But you know what? I've got to stay focused. Right? Woo! Maybe just a minute. Because we get them temptations from one men as well. Right? One men. Okay. Maybe just a minute. Looking hella psychedelic. Well, that's something in the 60s, isn't it? Maybe just a minute. Yeah, I missed the 60s. Right? My family was born in the 60s, though. Right? That, that was the hippie era, right? The revolution era. A lot of drugs were out there in the, in the 60s as well. But you know what? Let's continue. So Paul, he was, he saw what? The idolatry. Okay. He saw those things. Okay, that was happening. Okay. Within that particular region. Bro, I'm telling you, Ting had figured our ass. But well, we gotta stay, but we gotta stay focused still. Anyway, let's go, let's go. So let's go to Acts. Okay. Let's stay focused. This is Acts 17. And 17. Right? Therefore disputed in the synagogue with the Jews, right? And devout persons, right? And it says, Babakishan, in the market daily with them. So that's what Paul was doing. He was debating those within the market, okay? And it says, daily with them and met with them, okay? The market is known as the Agora, okay? <laughs> 
Now why are people getting mad at me because I, because I don't want to drain the side of Satan? It's unbelievable. Very just a minute. Then you've got people getting mad at you because you don't want to be a, a Satanist in, in the kingdom of darkness. How does that work? Huh? And it says Baba Kasha. When certain philosophers of the Epicureans, okay, the Epicureans were basically, um, they were pleasure seekers, the Epicureans. And of the Stoics, the Stoics were more disciplined. Stoic goes into Stoicism. Look up Stoicism as well. Stoicism are those that are very, very undisciplined. Right? And I want to look that up as well later on. Encountered him and some said, what would this Babylon say? So some of them were saying that to Paul. What's this Babylon going to say? Right? That's what they were saying. Okay. What would this Babylon say? Oh, son. He seemed to be a set of forth of strange ones because he preached unto them Yahavashite and the resurrection. So they were seeing, they didn't understand it. They thought, now he's teaching of um, other gods because he seems to be a set of strange gods. Because remember, they had many different gods. Okay? And it said, Baruchashah. Like and they took him and brought him unto Abiyal Pagos, saying, May we know what this new doctrine is. Wherefore their speakers is, what's this new doctrine that Paul's speaking about? It sounds very different. Okay. For thou bringest certain strange things to our ears. We've never heard this before. What's Paul speaking about? Yahweh And it says, we would know what these things mean for the Athians, Athenians, and the strangers, which were they have spent their time in nothing else but even to tell or to hear something new. To tell or to hear what? A new fable, a new story. Remember, they were storytellers. A lot of your poets came out of Greece. Okay? And it says, verse 22, Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious. Keeping too superstitious. Right, that's them fables. You know when Christmas, we're not too far from Christmas, you're going to have people act that actually believe in the spirit of Christmas. You've got your Christmas lights on. You're going to have children that are taught, well, um, uh, you know, uh, the presence, you know, someone breaks through your house, which is not good to teach them that. Someone breaks through your house and gives you presents. He's got a big beard on. And you sit on his lap during Christmas, which is paedophilia, by the way. You sit on Father Christmas's lap, right? How do you know when your when your son or daughter is sitting on Father Christmas's lap, this guy doesn't have a sniffy? I know it sounds far fetched, but I'm just telling you. How do you know that? You know what I'm saying, bro? This is serious, right? All right, then, sir. So this way, you gotta get away from fables. Christmas. All right, you were a certain age. You you like the spirit of it, right? I did as well, right? Remember them songs? We be having a wonderful Christmas time. I, I, I like them songs. Da -da 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 -da. But then you grow out of that, right? We be having a wonderful Christmas time. You grow out of that. And you grow into the truth. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha. So, it says, and Paul said, and but said, you are too superstitious. You know, people still believe when their um, tooth falls out, they believe in the tooth fairy, right? That the tooth fairy, you know, he gives you a pound. No, it wasn't him that gave you that pound, right? Guess who gave you it? Your family, right? These are fables, okay? These are all fables that go back to what? Some type of form of idol and paganism. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, these are pagan days, right? Roman days, basically, right? That's what they are, Roman days, pagan holidays, right? And so forth, okay? That's what they are, pagan holidays, okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, check this out. For I passed by and beheld your devotions, okay? And I found the altar with the inscription to the unknown power, right? And they have these children doing this sign as well. You know what this means? 
That's the horns of that whole man. See what I'm supposed to be doing there? We're supposed to be indoctrinating these children into Satanism. We're supposed to be indoctrinating them into what? The, the words of your heart by showing you how to shine. Right? Come on now. And he says, Baba Kishore. And I pass by and behold your devotions. These are all the devotions. Okay? And it says, and I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown power. So they had the altar of Yahweh Shai, but it's an unknown power because they didn't know Yahweh Shai. And it says, Baba Kishore, whom they ignorantly call, worship. Right? Him I declare unto you. So Paul was now declaring this unto the Athenians, which were Israelites, by the way. Israelite foreigners. Okay. And it says, verse 24, the, me the heavenly father that made the world in all things, right? Therein, sinning, that is heaven, Lord of heaven, right? See, it's all acting, eh? All these people come around you, they're actors. And it says, for the heavenly father made the world and the things therein, right? Seeing that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, of heaven and earth, what if not in temples, made with hands. So this is another cut to your churches. Yahweh Shai is not up in these churches, he's not there. He's not there. Right? He's not in your churches. Okay? And it says Baba Kisha. Neither is he worshipped with man's hands as though he needed any things he needed to life and breath to all things. We're gonna shut off some. And I've made one blood of all nations of men to dwell upon the face of the earth and I've determined the times of fighting and the bounds of their habitation that they should seek the Lord, Yahushua, if happily they might go after him, right? And might find him. Though he be not far from every one of us. It says he be not far from every one of us. Let's go to Romans. Come on. So then faith come by hearing and hearing by the word. So that's why they need Paul to what? Preach this word. Okay. Let's see what else we got. That's pretty, that's pretty much it on that. Let's go back to where we were. Acts 17. And 26. I'm made of one blood of all nations. Of men for to dwell upon the face of the earth. And have determined the times appointed and the bounds in their habitation. But they should seek after the Lord Jehovah Shai. Right? If happily they might fill after him. Okay? And find him, though he be not far from every one of us. So he's not far from every one of us. But in him we live. Right? And we move. And have our certain, as also your poets have said, for we are his, his offspring. So the Greeks, right, they were the offspring of Yahweh Shai, right? And it says, for as much, Red, you're useless. And it says, for as much, bro, you can't even walk straight. For as much then as what his offspring. So we are the lost offspring. Okay, of the Heavenly Father, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like of gold or silver. So we can't liken our power unto a bit of gold and silver. Or stone, right? Graven by art, right? Or man's device and the times of his ignorance. Right? The most high winter. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Okay? Because he have an appointed to the day in the which he shall judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he had ordained, whereof he have given assurance unto all men 
in that he have raised them from or are dead. So that's our assurance. We don't need to sell out. Bro, we don't need to sell our souls, man, to the hive mind. We don't need to do that. Right? Because Yahweh has already presented to us what? Our opportunity to serve him. We don't need to sell out. Okay? And it says, And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked. So they were mocking Yahweh Shai. And others said, We will hear thee again of this matter. Okay? And it says, Baba Kisha. Check this out. So Paul departed from among them. How about certain men save unto him? And believed among which was Dionysus. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha. And the Areopagites. Okay? And it says, Baba Kisha. And a woman named. Right? Damaris. Okay? And others with them. Okay? So, this shows you, right? That you had those that were worshipping idols. But Yahweh Shia what? Not a Yahweh Shia Paul. Brought them over to what? Worship him. To worship Yahweh Shai. Okay? See what else we can find. We're going to shut off soon. Because I pretty much went into what? Main topics. The main things. Okay? So let's see what we can find. Go to Romans 5. And Romans 2. See what we can do. So let's go to Romans 1. And 13, let me shut off. I want to have you ignorant, right? Brethren, that oftentimes a purpose to come unto you. Okay? But was let him hear to that I might have some fruit among you, also even among the Gentiles. I am both a, a debtor to the Greeks, so Yahweh was a debtor. A debtor means he owed. So Paul was teaching to the Greeks that were Israelite foreigners. They were Israelites. But they were living in a Greek state of way of living. And it says, and barbarians both the wise and to the unwise. So as much as in me, I'm ready to preach the gospel that I've in Rome, those that are in Rome. So yeah, the Israelite foreigners were Greeks living in a Hellenistic state of mind. So with this I'm gonna shut off. Lord willing, this was edifying. Alright? And then to the next time, Shalawam to the hopeful elect. Shalawam.